live with the mortgage calculator. What we're gonna do today is go through some live mortgage rates and then do a deep dive into a topic like we do every day. We'll get started here momentarily, just waiting a couple minutes to go live on all the different platforms. We are streaming this on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So give us just a moment to get live on all the platforms. I see some people already dropping comments. We appreciate the comments as you tune in. As everybody pops in here, please feel free to drop a comment. I see comments were already coming in from Julio, Jamie, Richard, Victoria. Thank you for the comment. We appreciate it. Jason, thank you for the comment. Tuning in from LinkedIn. We'll get started here in just a moment. Hope everybody's been having a great week. Happy Friday. Thank you for the comments, Christina and Adam. Appreciate that. We'll get started in just a moment here. All right. Thank you for the comments there. Corey, Bob, Melvin, Dario tuning in from LinkedIn. Appreciate it. And it looks like we are ready to get started. And as you tune in, keep dropping comments and feel free to drop any questions that you have about our deep dive topic as well. Welcome, everyone. My name is Kyle Hershey. I'm the COO of The Mortgage Calculator, joined here by our president, Nick Hershey, and our sales manager, Jose Gonzalez. We are a correspondent lender that specializes in non-QM loans. And what we do every morning here is go through some live mortgage rates for different programs, and then we do a deep dive into a different loan topic every day. Now, today's topic is something uh, that you know we specialize in here with our DSCR loans because we are mainly focused on non-QM loans and we love our DSCR loans. And this is a great twist to it. We're going to talk about DSCR second mortgages here today. So our sales manager, Jose Gonzalez, with 28 years of experience as both a loan officer and a realtor, is going to do a deep dive into this unique product of DSCR second mortgages. But before we do that, let's do what we do every morning, which is pull up our pricing tool and go through the live rates for today. So Nick, let's go ahead and pull up the rates and see what the market looks like this morning. All right, let me switch my screen and check it out. So this screen is our pricing tool. This will give us the general rates and the APR for today. It is September 8th, just after 11 a.m. And we will see the different programs and allow us to compare the APRs across the program. If you'd like a full breakdown of all the fees that go into that APR, please get with our licensed loan officers. We have over 300 licensed loan officers in 24 states for primary homes. And we can do our DSCR business purpose loans in 44 states since that's one of the topics today. So for our demo, as we do every day, we'll set up the same scenario and compare across the program so we can compare the APRs. We'll set up a 400,000 loan amount. We'll set the LTV to 80% loan to value, 20% down payment for all the demos. We'll set the desired price to 99. That means we're gonna ask the computer to find the best rate at one discount point in cost, which is a typical request. And we're going to compare our programs. We always start with conforming conventional. Then we'll compare that with FHA, which is which is usually the second best option for most borrowers. Then we'll go into expanded guidelines, also known as non-QM, where we have over 5,000 additional loan programs. We also have VA and USDA. Remember, VA is for our eligible vets and active service members only. So if you are eligible, let us know. We can quote it, no problem. And USDA is only for eligible properties. If you are looking at an eligible property, let us know. We can quote that up, no problem. So we'll start with conforming conventional, we'll do a purchase, 30 year fixed standard loan, primary occupancy, single family home, one unit, state of Florida, county of Miami-Dade. And for all the demos, we use an estimated FICO of 760 and an estimated debt to income ratio of 40% for this demo. So as we do every morning, let's check the live rates. Yeah, not much different from yesterday, 7.375 rate, 0.75 discount points and cost puts our final APR at 7.533. So unfortunately, we haven't seen much reprieve from the peak rates uh, last week. Uh, we're just a smidge higher than this, uh, but we're pretty much right at the top. Hopefully, we can only go down from here. But if our customer 
doesn't qualify for our standard conventional, usually the next one we want to look at is our FHA. So we'll pull up the same scenario, set everything exactly the same. However, we'll just change the program to FHA so we can compare the exact scenario across the programs. So for FHA this morning, 6.5 rate, 0.75 discount points and cost puts our final APR at 7.084. So just a touch above seven there. Uh, that's obviously quite a bit lower than conventional today. So our customers that qualify for both conventional and FHA definitely might want to take a look at FHA. It uh, has gone down just a touch, um, whereas conventional hasn't really yet this morning. Uh, but hopefully we see both of those go down as the interest rates relax. Now, where we specialize here at the mortgage calculator is if our customer doesn't qualify for an FHA or conventional. Typically, other banks or lenders might not have other options, but that's where we love to present our expanded guidelines, also known as non-QM. So we'll set up the same exact scenario. The only thing we've changed here is the expanded guidelines, which pops up a new box for income. So with the expanded guidelines, non-QM programs, we can use alternative income. Full doc is what we use for conventional and FHA. That's two years of tax returns. That's what most people are used to. However, we'll choose non-QM typically to take advantage of one of these other options like asset related, business bank statement. Our investor programs are only for investment properties. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Personal bank statement 12 month is the demo program we always use since that's the most popular. We also have RSU, stated, VOE, 10 and 9, PL, and no income CDFI options as well. But for the demo, we always use the 12 month personal bank statement for our self employed borrowers. Many times, our self employed borrowers, when they submit two years of tax returns, might have various write offs and may not qualify at all, or just may not quite be able to get enough income to get the home they really want. So we'll solve that problem for our borrowers in this case using no tax returns involved at all, just their last 12 bank statements for their income to determine a debt to income ratio of 40%. Again, in this example, using their last 12 bank statements, just the cash in the bank, no tax returns at all. So most of our self-employed borrowers will qualify for double or triple the income and can therefore qualify where they would not before. So let's check out the non-QM rates this morning. Very comparable here to the conventional, as you can see. So we have our best option at the top, 7.5 rate, a little more expensive always for these non-QM programs, 2.25 discount points, but that still puts our APR at 7.608, which is it within 0.1 of conventional. Uh, so earlier this week and last week, we were beating some days uh, conventional with our non-QM bank statement programs, which is amazing. And today they're almost identical. So definitely recommend our customers that may need that little bit of extra help. Do not shy away from these non-QM bank statement programs. They are very flexible to solve our problems uh, and also very comparable in cost, especially today and over the last couple weeks. And if you scroll down here, you see we have dozens, if not hundreds of options here. Some of these options have a little bit higher rate and cost, may calculate income a little differently, and may also allow things like uh, credit events such as foreclosures, and bankruptcies, and otherwise uh, other events that would cause us to otherwise not qualify. So please get with our team members. They'll find which one of these programs will work best for you. Now, we also love to work with our investors. So we want to do our last couple live pricing as we do every day with investment properties. So whether you're a first time investor or seasoned investor, we have some great options. We'll set up the same scenario as before. 80% loan to value, 20% down payment for investment properties. And we'll compare our two options. We'll check out the conforming conventional options, which are a little bit expensive these days. And then we'll check out our expanded guidelines, non-QM programs, where we can use alternative income. Remember government programs, FHA, VA, USDA do not work for investments. So we'll start with the conforming conventional. Everything will stay the same as all our other demos. The only thing we've edited is the occupancy. So let's see what adjustments the conventional programs have for investments. Interesting. I'm just looking at these APRs here. This one's actually a touch cheaper, but the discount points are obviously insane. So uh, the computer did a good job and gave us the best option, even though the APR is technically lower here. Best option, 7.625 rate for 3.375 discount points in cost. 
puts our final APR at 7.871. So pretty expensive here for conventional. They have added some pretty intense adjustments to investment properties. So although it's a great low rate, these discount points of 3.375, in this example, that's $13,500. It's very expensive. Most of our investors ask for other options. Uh, and what confused me there for a minute is this APR is technically lower, 7.829, but 5.875 points would exceed the compliance. Uh, so this would be an undoable uh, deal here, even though it technically comes in a tad lower on the APR. This is just too many points. Anyhow, we solve our problem for our investors. None of these options are usually preferable for any of our investors because they're very expensive under conventional at the moment. So we can usually solve that problem by checking out our non-QM options. So for the final demo, we'll set up investment property again, set up ADLTV again, and this time we'll check out expanding guidelines, also known as non-QM. So for an investment property, our most popular income by far is DSCR, and that's because it doesn't actually require any income or employment from our borrower. We simply use the estimated rental income from the property to determine a DSCR, stands for debt service coverage ratio. If the estimated rents can cover the PITIA of the mortgage that we're proposing here, aka the property will cash flow on a monthly basis, that's a ratio of 1.0 or higher. We even have options for properties that don't quite cash flow on a monthly basis where the ratio is under one. For the demo though, so we see all the programs, we always use 1.5 so that we can see all the different options pop up. And the final thing is a prepayment penalty. We always choose three years, which is standard for non-QM investments. That will show the most programs. We can choose zero that will cost much more and limit the loan programs that show up. So we don't do that in the demo. And we can also choose five, which will again limit the loan programs, but we'll save our customers some money in some cases. So to show the most options, we always choose three years. So let's check out the DSCR rates this morning. Amazing here again, we're almost beating conventional today. We beat it a couple days uh, this week and last week, uh, but the best option here for a DSCR loan Pretty amazing, 7.875 rate, 0.975 discount points and costs. So we solved our uh, investor's problem with the high discount points here. And the final APR is 7.941, just a touch higher than the conventional option. But obviously 90 plus percent of our investors when presented those options side by side are going to choose the DSCR for all of the flexibility. And it's only 0.1 higher in cost at the end of the day. And a couple of days this week, we were actually beating it on cost. Now there's a ton of different DSCR options here. Some of these may allow uh, bankruptcies, foreclosures, just like the other non-QM programs. Some of these may allow us to use short-term rental income, very popular requests for investment properties. So please get with our team. There's hundreds of different variations here with our non-QM programs. Now let's get into our deep dive example, which is another DSCR program. So let me pop up my screen. And for those of you who just maybe joined us late, Topic today is something very cool and very new, which is our DSCR second mortgage loan. So this week we've done HELOCs, we've done our fixed rate HE loans, and we've gone over our bank statement HE loans, second mortgages. Now today, Jose is going to go into something that is totally unique and totally new for most people, which is a DSCR investor second mortgage for investment properties. Uh, this is the hottest product right now, I would say, uh, right, Jose, in the market. Second mortgages is obviously the hottest topic. Now this is the new version of the hottest product on the market. Uh, so definitely check this out for our team. Definitely quote some of these here this week uh, as this becomes more popular. So, Jose, if you're ready, go ahead and take over. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us for Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Great to be with you here this morning especially when we're discussing uh, this very unique product, which we are so lucky to have to be able to offer to our customers. Now, as Nick mentioned, this is a DSCR loan, debt service coverage ratio loan, which is a loan for investment properties only, not using any personal income nor employment of the borrower. So, what I will state is that this program is maximum 70% combined loan to value. So it is a little bit more restrictive than the others. You 
will know that the other alternative doc options that we have for investment and uh, the other options for investment in general are 80 percent max cltv so this one does Those, like the ones CLTV. we did yesterday yes uh, the bank statements right. for investment so high ltv we have those but this is still very cool just make sure you uh look at that ltv in a little bit different light there absolutely so let me go share the examples here i have you today i have for one unit properties and i have for two to four unit properties so this these are being priced with a two-year prepayment penalty so our lowest cost option is a 14 percent rate with our lowest rate option 13.75 so not much of a buy down opportunity there because this is at the max ltv of 70 percent. so with the loan level price adjustments at the higher ltv we are capped at 13.75 for the loan amount that we have here of two hundred and nine thousand dollars so that's our 70 percent and then at 65 percent ltv uh, we do get a, a little bit more options here again 14 percent is our lowest cost option and we can buy it down now due to the lower ltv to 13 percent as our lowest rate option for a one unit property at 65% LTV. And here's another example at 60% LTV. So you can see that the rate does, uh, or the rate and or cost of the rate does keep uh, decreasing. Here we have 14% again as our lowest cost option, a little bit cheaper on the cost there than at the higher LTVs. And we can buy it down to 12.625%. So now I have some two to four unit options. And I will note that the rate cost and cost are the same. There is not a loan level price adjustment for this product for a two to four unit property, which is great news because this is an investor specific product and investors love the two to four unit properties so here at our 65 percent ltv again we know rate gets a little cheaper 14 percent is our lowest cost option and again you can buy this one down to 13 percent and our last example here is for our two to four unit at 60 percent loan to value so again 14 percent is our lowest cost option and you can buy this one down all the way to 12.625 percent so just remember our team when you are setting this up uh keep in mind the setup for this loan so that you will be able to obtain compliant rates this is an expanded guideline option with a two-year prepayment penalty and 70 percent is the maximum loan to value so i think we have one question on that but let's just uh, address it directly so richard was asking is the pricing compliant so uh jose yes. was able to get plenty of options i think you might need to add the prepay there is probably what you might have been missing there richard if you didn't find any options or the ltv as jose just mentioned those would be the two items to make sure uh you bring down to, in order to get some good uh, pricing there Then we got another one from, I guess let's start with Glenn's first question here. So Glenn had two questions. Can you buy this down? I think you kind of addressed that, Jose, but um, you want to kind of talk about the compliance there and, and why it's limited on the buy downs, I guess, because of the loan amount really is what it is. Well, I mean, the loan amount and the percentage, right? Uh, we are limited to 5% uh, points and fees, even though this is a business purpose loan, uh, there is that limit so uh without that two-year prepay the loan level price adjustments do increase to the point that it may put you out of compliance but uh as i'm showing you the rate stack uh with the lowest cost option 
right? That's the lowest buy down cost option. And then the lowest rate option is going to have the highest buy down that we can offer the customer while still being in compliance with our 5% points and fees limit. All right. All right here's then, a good question. Yeah, Glenn's second question here. Can you do DSCR second interest only? That would have been a cool twist. Did you try that, Jose? Uh, no, I did not. But, you know, I can quickly uh, put it here a second on one of my options here just to see. I don't recall them issuing that in the uh, product release there, Glenn. I'm sure you might have got an email just as we did, um, but Jose can run the quote real quick and see. Um, but they change it every day, right? This is a brand new product. It just came out about two weeks ago in general, and then they're adding different options as we go. I mean, it did give me an option, yes. There is a half a point loan level price adjustment for going interest only. So yes, it is possible to go interest only with this product. So it may limit you, uh, you know, as low as you can go, right? Because with that extra half a point loan level price adjustment, that has to be taken into consideration in the 5% points and fees. Limit. That's pretty amazing. All right, I don't see any other questions. So I think we can wrap it up. Uh, remember, if you have questions about these programs, you can get with our team. Visit us at themortgagecalculator.com. We can pair you up with one of our loan officers. Appreciate everybody tuning in. We do this show 11 a.m. Eastern every single weekday where we go through the live rates and then do a deep dive into a different topic. So we will be right back here on Monday with a new topic. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Jose. And we will see you on Monday for the next episode of Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody.